We're also big fans of Alphabet, G-O-O-G-L. And as we communicated last week when we said, listen, this is the time, uh, fortunately, that was about 30 points ago. We think the recent weakness has made for a very attractive entry point. Yes, the stock may have been hit by the news that the European Commission is slapping the search giant with a record $2.7 billion fine. Uh, but the self was exacerbated by what was going on in the broader tech space. Regardless, every time the stock takes a hit, it bounces back. And that's simply because it has got so much going for it, as we have written over and over again in recent bulletins. Remember when all the advertisers were pulling out of YouTube? Oh, I put quotes around that. Back in March, sending the stock down 40 points a matter of weeks. What an opportunity that was. Very few pulled out. Some people say no pull out. And as we told members, that's exactly what would happen. One month after hitting the lows, the stock was trading back above the level before the so-called scandal. We all know what happened next. Shares went on a huge run after another dominant quarter from the company, eventually break 1000 bucks. This recent pullback has the same type of look. Google's fundamentals remain intact. Near term, we love the company's incredibly strong online ad dominance. Longer term, so it's away from just the $660 billion ad market, it's the company's constant push to increase revenue diversity that gets us really excited. That's something Ruth Porat, the CFO, has been pushing. Whether it's Waymo, the dominant autonomous car, YouTube, the, uh, which is just you know, going to be monetized the heck out of in the last next few years. Proprietary machine learning, I've seen it myself. Artificial intelligence, been there, looked at. Google Cloud, which they think is, you know, look, a lot of companies are taking Google Cloud, particularly ones, by the way, that Walmart doesn't want to use the Amazon Cloud for, uh, or the hardware business that continues to engender loyalty to the Google brand. Alphabet CFO Porat has had a clearly defined path for success, minimize the companies that lose a lot of money in the uh, moonshots, maximize the ones that make a lot. This is a real powerhouse for the digital age, and the stock is a long-term winner. The dips need to be taken advantage of.